It only costs $1.50 to hop on board a car to bus. It's an economical decision, but is it popular or even convenient? It's a question CARTA officials tackled in a remarkable sit-down interview. CARTA officials are the first to admit they have a major image issue. Oh yes, we hear it all the time. Too dangerous, too weird, and too inconvenient. I just think that Carter is, hasn't uh, told its story very well. Carter has been a staple in Chattanooga since 1973. That's 41 years for anyone that's counting. But somewhere along the way, Carter officials say their story and image began to run off the road. Sometimes that stigma comes into the fact that the bus is so not convenient, it's not for me, so to speak, because I, I have a car, so I don't necessarily need public transit. And you try to change that. Everybody thinks it's just the folks that are transit dependent that ride. It's not. So we hit the streets to find out more about that public perception. But while CARTA focuses on image issues, residents say they're sitting on their hands with the lack of route expansion. I would love to see them come back to East Ridge again. But executives tell me they already have a plan in motion to put the expansions on the map. They call it the 2040 initiative. This plan could put railway and bus lines into North Georgia and possibly even East Ridge and the Middle Valley. A lot of those areas we had service in back in the 80s and then with budget cuts and everything that's one of the first things that the areas cut. While stereotypes make this executive team cringe, they tell us that changing people's behavior is the key to getting that bus back on the road. I think a lot of it is education. I don't think people understand the value of what public transportation and multimodal transportation can offer. And we are working very, very hard to make it better. There's always enhancements to be made. There's plenty of work to be done. While expansion is in the works, Carter says its approval means residents will have to pay their fair share. If people want to be a part of the Carter community, they have to vote and pay an assessment fee. Reporting for News Channel 9 at 11, I'm Micaiah Thurmond.